Hi guys, this is Tobias, DL3MHT. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you my uh, guying of the spider pole that I used for my first POTA activation. Nothing special here, 100 times seen on the internet. Um, this guy ring I found on Thingiverse, printed in PETG, does not look super clean, but I was already <laughs> uh, happy that I managed to get this quality out of my 3D printer. Then on the other side of the three uh, PVC ropes, you have a rope tensioner. And you ask yourself, why put the rope tensioner on the other side and not on the top, which, where it's maybe more convenient to pull. And the reason is that I never know in which distance I have to put in um, the pegs in the ground. So I thought if I have the rope tensioner on the other side, I can put a small mark on the rope in well, for the spider pole 10 meter in 1 meter 20 distance, here it is. Um, I just marked it here with a pen. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Maybe it gets all blurry. So basically put this thing on the ground, straighten out the ropes, look for the three marks in the rope, put your pegs in the ground. And then you can basically, you know, hook it around the peg and use the rope tensioner from the bottom side um, yeah, to get tension. And this is how I uh, can put up my spider pole, hopefully without too much fuss. So here's the guy ring on the ground. Uh, first step, stretch out the rope. <laughs> like this maybe. Okay, so here are my packs, not the prettiest one, but the cheapest ones. <laughs> okay, so where do I have to put the packs in the ground? Here's my mark. And I guess I have to zoom out a bit so that everything is in view. Let me see. Yeah, maybe like this. And then the other two. here and one pack here so the question is I have tons of stones in my garden so this will be a bit of fun yeah that works you know get it in and then since there's a thread on can screw it in I don't know if I'm in frame you will see me messing about and now the third one don't think it's in view maybe pan around a bit here we go and right okay so we have them all in now I can put the rope tensioner on, maybe like this. So, here's the pole. And basically like this. And this is where I would usually put the antenna on the hook. So here, right in the middle. And just pull it out. And that's the only con side of the, the sky ring because it doesn't sit at the most bottom as meant, but at one, which is uh, second from the top. So you have to basically put a bit of tape on the bottom one because if you tension your rope tensioners too much then you basically pull in the, the bottom element. So now let's see. Uh, did not. Uh, 
Ha, this is what happens when you're not twisting your antenna enough, then it collapses on itself. I have, I'm one person sh short in filming this properly, so I can just blindly tilt it upwards and hope it is in focus. And the last one, now it's getting interesting. Yeah, see, and this is where you should have some tape ready and tape it to the bottom element. And then I can put tension. on the ropes. Okay, this is maybe not the final position, but good enough for the demo. There you go. Let me zoom out a bit. So, or go closer with the camera. That will shake now a little bit. Sorry for that. Let me hold it by hand. So here's the guy ring. Rope goes down here. Here's the rope tensioner. I could have made the rope maybe a bit longer. Maybe give it half a meter more. And We are basically good enough for field day. Let me go back a bit. And as you can see with this trick of marking um, the rope at the same height as the guy ring, you should in theory get a very nice 45 degree angle for all your three guy ropes. And yeah, this should be Good enough, I think. Okay, so that uh, was it for this short video. Thanks for watching and until next time.